Hey there guys, Tori here from the Amazing Brick Network. Thank you so very much for joining me as we get to build the Imperial Probe Droid together. That's set number 75306 and it did just come out recently. So I was really keen to get this from the get-go. I've sped up the build speed for you so as not to drive you nuts whilst watching this. If you're enjoying the videos, please do take the time to subscribe and of course click the like button and the bell for notifications. If you guys have bought this also, I would love to know, so please place a comment below. The probe droid, in case you're not familiar with Star Wars, it came out or was first envisaged in the Empire Strikes Back movie as it was on the ice planet Hoth. It was a cool looking droid at the time, though really it hasn't appeared a lot in Star Wars, though due to the popularity of Empire Strikes Back, the probe droid is one of the favorite Imperial droids out there. It makes a cool noise, the way that it levitates and has the arms or legs, um, the multiple cameras for viewing. It is really, really cool. And they have done such an exceptional job with this particular build. At first, I did think that it wouldn't be that much of a challenge, weighing in at only 683 pieces, but with a retail price of $120. But much to my surprise, the legs certainly were a challenge. And I would say that this set 100% is a display piece. There is no play functionality to this whatsoever. It is extremely flimsy. So um, the legs themselves, you'll see later on, we will get to that part, even though we have sped up the build, you will be able to see just exactly how flimsy they are. Just simple hook uh, elements being used to hold a very heavy leg onto place. The instant you move it, the whole thing comes off and in fact I did have to actually stop this video and undo a lot of it because several of the legs all just fell off at the same time and it was actually quite difficult to figure out what I was doing in terms of fixing them up and putting them back together again. As you can see here it is a heavily layered piece and structurally it is extremely strong in terms of the main body and the head which was built toward the latter end of the build but this part here uh, it was really cool the way that they had all those side panels come on there. There weren't many stickers, which I was very grateful for, mainly just to show instrumentation. And I think they could have even been brick built um, if they'd given it just a little bit more time than what they had. I am editing this video slightly differently. There aren't as many like dead points where you just see nothing for a while. So I do hope uh, you like the way I have changed the editing. To most of you, it will look exactly the same as others, but uh, bear in please do bear that in mind. And I would love your feedback. If you think there's something I can do better, um, I would love to know. Uh, that's a really good part of letting me build a better channel for you. If you do want to find more about the show, you can always join the fun on the Amazing Brick Network on Facebook. Uh, there's a page there that you can join. Absolutely. And there's all the Amazing Brick Network groups as well. So be sure to get your Lego game on because your builds may just end up on this show. So this was the actual main part of the body done here. I had to quickly disassemble that. I put them on in the wrong order and I thought I would leave that in for you. Just so as you do pay attention to that particular part there. Otherwise you end up with the droid facing the wrong direction entirely. And these pieces won't lay down properly either because I'd mixed the whole darn thing up. Now this is the stand made of clear elements with a rod going through them. That was very wobbly. I, I mean, it could lock in, but it was a fair bit of fiddling going on in order to do that. And at, even now that I've completed, I do find that I've just got it positioned just that it's laying within the stand. It's not actually, there's no clutch power going on. Um, I'm actually scared if I push too hard, a lot of those legs will fall off. So the, the danger is very real. Um, so that's something to be very aware of when you do build your own Imperial probe droid. And look, I, even though I'm saying there's issues with the legs there and their strength, um, I do thoroughly recommend this build. It's satisfying when it's complete. The legs themselves, though, goodness gracious me, they were so frustrating. And whoever had invented or created the build style for them had done such a good job in making it look like the real deal. But I think that they had taken not oh sorry not taken into consideration the fun factor because by the end of it i wasn't having fun anymore with the build it was more frustration and worry that bits would fall apart so this is a very fragile build it doesn't have a lot of the strengthening techniques that you would normally see with a lego set 
you have been warned. Star Wars fans, they shouldn't care about that at all. You'll probably just get straight into it and enjoy it as the display piece that it is intended to be. Don't hand this to the kids after you've built it. You will immediately regret it. The thing doesn't stand without that stand. It is a display piece. Um, it didn't appear that any unique uh, elements were used for this particular build. So I do think that you could quite readily find everything you need for an Imperial Probe Droid out of standard Lego sets if you've got a decent spares collection. There was nothing here that I thought, oh, that's new. Except for the fact that there were two little bags filled with like metallic-y looking parts that you would have already seen me using in here. They may be the ones that you find are difficult to locate. I'm not a big fan of them. They're, they've been a recent addition to a lot of Lego sets. They're a weird color. They're sort of like a metallic-y gray color. Um, they're in bags that have got perforated. They're not in your standard Lego bags. And quite frankly, I do think they look a little bit out of place with the uh, style of the Lego. And as you can see on the particular build here, you can see the display um, notification about uh, regarding to details about the probe droid. And... They were really interesting and also it wasn't too hard to put that sticker on. It took me about three attempts, which I did cut out. But just so you're aware, just line that thing up with the studs up the top. And you saw that earlier on when I did place that sticker on. That was the winning solution for me, putting it on the build space and gently laying the sticker over the top and then gently folding down as I did it. So hopefully that helps you put the sticker on as well neatly because there is nothing worse in a set like this when you do have something like an information sheet to just destroy it. And I'm not sure how Lego are about giving them to you if you accidentally rip or tear them yourself. I know they're very good with their spare parts if things are missing, but um, those sticker sets, I just wish that they were pre-printed for the amount of money you're paying and the fact that they could produce a lot of these probe droids and people would still buy them. I think the sticker route is certainly the very cheap route. I'm not happy with it, but uh, at the moment it is what Lego's doing. This area here, this is the head of the probe droid and the camera assemblies on it were really, really cool. It took a while to put this part together. All up this build, even though I've got it down to nine minutes, it is actually a multi-hour build and very fiddly techniques, things that could fall apart until you strengthen them. But all things, once they connected, were very satisfying to look at and they were just beautiful. Like That head was very solid to hold. Um, there was one little niggly part that did keep falling off and it's going to do so. Like I said, this is a display piece. It does not have any real play factor in it at all. We've almost completed the speed build here and I will slow the video down to incorporate some still shots for you. There we are. Give it the thumbs up. Good job, Tori. And this is just how it looks. It looks fantastic. It looks like the real deal. You could imagine this hovering up from the surface of Ice Planet Hoth and, uh, you know, giving Chewbacca a hard time until he puts a uh, bolt straight through its uh, cameras. But uh, there are just lots of features. I think that they've done a very, very satisfying job in bringing this complex robot to life. And also the way that they have used the clear elements there does make it appear as though it's floating over its own sign. I sincerely hope that you have enjoyed the video that I've put together for you today. And please do, if you enjoy it, click that subscribe button. It does mean the world to me. So stay tuned for more episodes. And until that time, make sure as always, you do nothing but have happy building. Thanks for watching.